Okay guys, my quest for slimes has brought me here. <coughs> An underground mine shaft. <laughs> and a spider spawner. Let's see if we can disable that maybe without killing ourselves. A spider spawner? Maybe just a spider. Oh, and it can't... can't get to us? What's wrong with it? Oh, snap. We shall conquer this. We're actually, like, right under my base. And there's more. <laughs> you can't get me. <laughs> okay. Let's see. You know what? I was really hoping to get some slimes. Today. So I think we'll save this abandoned mine shaft for another day. I really want some sticky pistons bad. Alright, um... Y'all yeah, just let me know. You want to see me go caving? You want to see me do this? You want to see me work on a slime farm? Just... Just let me know. Be more than happy to show it. I'm filming this stuff. More than likely I'm filming this stuff anyway. At least part of it. I'd like to film everything like Etho does, but uh, <laughs> I just don't have enough time to go over all the footage, and I don't have the hard drive space to store it either. So, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll upgrade my hard drive. I do have a little bit of disposable income. I can afford to do that. Gotta make sure all this is lit up. Eventually I'm gonna build a mob grinder. Mob farm and we want it to be uber efficient. <laughs> so let me see. We'll put a block like that to let me know I've already gone down it. Let's go ahead and pick up the track. Oh, are you sad I killed your friend? Who said I killed their friend? I want to be able to back up in case there's a creeper. <laughs> oh no, they can't get to me. Come on, you can do it. Hurry. Oh, I see a creeper. Oh no, I forgot arrows. I brought the bow, but forgot the arrows. What was I thinking? <laughs> I'm a crazy person. Okay, we'll conquer this another day. I am on a quest. A quest to find slimes.
Hello, people of Minecraft. This is my umpteenth time trying to record. <laughs> oh man, I don't know what's going on, but uh, something's happening. Keep, I keep having all these issues. There's a it's fate conspiring against me. Or maybe it's fate just trying to keep me from making a fool out of myself. Uh, I decided I wanted to start recording this, even though, I mean, it's kind of a boring, repetitive work. It's a, uh... <laughs> We're doing a mob, a mob farm here, uh... And it's just gonna be a bunch of layers like this. It'll be... Four in the four in the middle and two in each side here, like this. And uh this design, for those of you who are not aware, is by uh Etho. Brand new design, he just came up with it. <sighs> that guy's like some kind of mob genius. Urgh! There we go. Uh, I think he probably eats, breathes, and sleeps Minecraft. <laughs> but, uh, that's what put him on the map, I think, is all the stuff he used to do with mob systems. He was always trying to sort all the mobs. And, uh, <coughs> uh, I don't know if he still has that aspiration... A aspiration? Appar apparition? Apparition? I don't know if he still has that goal to sort. Darn it. All the mobs. But, uh... But he still does a lot of work with the mob grinders, improving them and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I just think he kind of drifted away from what I honestly... Okay, what I honestly think the mob sorting stuff is what put him on the map. But hey, you know what? His channel ha is getting like a thousand subs a day. So uh, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about. He apparently knows what put him on the map. Uh, maybe I'm just a clueless person who don't know nothing. Uh, but, uh, I think that it is now possible to sort all the mobs, more or less. Uh, I've discovered, well, I can't say I discovered. I've got to give credit to Etho. I like you, man. It's just gonna... <laughs> I just want to, I got to give you credit for this, but uh, on the other hand, I'm not entirely certain why you didn't figure, figure it out, is that he discovered that mobs seem to have different weight. I believe he figured out that pigs were heavier than cows, and uh, it was actually affecting one of his designs, and I don't know if he ever figured it out, at least he hasn't mentioned it, <clears throat> but you can use that to sort out cows and sheep. I've discovered that sheep appear to be slightly heavier than cows, for whatever reason. I would think that sheep would be light and fluffy, and but uh, I actually downloaded his map back, uh, let's see, episode 100-ish or something, back, back when he had the ice base, and, uh, <laughs> he had a TNT trap waiting for me, you download it, he's got a sign, 
I forget what the sign said, but you like fall off this platform, you take fall damage, and you land on a pressure plate. And it sets off TNT, and you go, oh no! So you take a couple of steps backwards, and you hear some more pressure plates go off, and you go, oh no! And you look at the ground, and there's TNT everywhere, so now you try and make a run for it, but you can't because you're inside a cobblestone wall and by the time you realize all that I mean even if you had realized it from the beginning you wouldn't have had enough time to break down the cobblestone wall but you're just doomed <laughs> it is a total slaughter he got me I think that must be a thing that youtubers do because every time I download a youtubers map they always have some kind of trap like that waiting for. I downloaded one and I was just like free falling a hundred blocks to my death or something like that. But uh, where was I? Oh yeah, you can sort cows and sheep. I set up a, I downloaded his map and set up a water filtration system. Dun dun dun. That uh, I dropped them through some water breaks uh, that were spaced apart and in about an hour I had it 90% uh, efficient at sorting cows and sheep. There were a few that still made it through but it actually sorted out most of the cows and sheep and I figured well that's proof of concept right there if you can just if somebody were to smart like Etho were to play with this for a while you know he could probably get it so it was 100% efficient. Uh, I sent him a message, and I, I can't really blame the guy if he didn't read it or ignored it. He probably gets... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if he got a thousand messages a day. But, uh... Yeah, I, I never got a response back. I sent him it saying uh, I f that it, how he had discovered the way to... I, I wasn't sure if he realized it, but he discovered the way to sort cows and sheep. And with the latest update being 1.2, I believe I figured out a way to sort 100% automatically zombies, creepers, and skeletons. 100% automatic. And I bet you people are dying for me. Why did I put that there? I bet you people are dying for me to tell you how. Uh, well, the way I figure it is zombies attack villagers and creepers run away from cats. So you build a tunnel that has all three of those mobs in it. You set up a cat to scare the creeper a certain direction away from the rest of the mobs. You set up a villager to draw the zombie away from the rest of the mobs. And once you have the creepers running scared and the zombies looking for their next meal, the skeletons should be all that's left and they can just fall into a chute at the end of the waterway. And uh, that'll be the end of that. So I, I think uh, that's... Uh, I'm going to need more material. So, uh, I think I'm actually going to call this episode. I, I originally started recording because I've been dying a lot. I've been taking a lot of fall damage and dying. Ah, Just like that. Oh, man. <sighs> so, I, I think I'm going to call this episode Death by gravity. We'll see if I remember to do that. <sighs> you go splat and your items go everywhere. My hat. I've actually... I've actually died like 10 times already. But the video footage just keeps getting messed up. So, uh... Hopefully this will stick and won't get messed up. That's a long ways up. <sighs> Wait, where's my bucket?
Did I have a bucket up there? Oh no, I lost my bucket. That cost me like a whole three pieces of iron. I got my eye on you, ground. You're not gonna get the... <laughs> You're not gonna get the drop on me again. Because I've got my eye on you. I really do. So you're not going to get me. He's got Oh, snap. Oh, my bucket. Yay. Put on my... What is it called? A tunic. And my little leather booties. Booty. Oh, man. We're climbing. We're climbing. We're still climbing. I need to find a pumpkin. I wonder if I can see a pumpkin from up here somewhere. Pumpkin. <gasps> Did I just not take fall damage? What just happened there? I didn't take fall damage. What the heck? I mean, not that I'm complaining, but... <laughs> Okay, so, uh, yeah, building a mob tower, running out of things to talk about. <sighs> good times, good times. So, how about those Astros? <laughs> oh, sorry, that, that's a... That's a running joke from where I'm from. How about those Astros? <laughs> okay, so I think I'm just going to finish up. What have I done? I'm very OCD. I can't, I can't just let this sit like that. Darn it. All that time wasted. Curse my OCDism. I don't even know why I'm being OCD about this because I'm probably going to tear it down eventually, seeing as how I don't want this ugly thing floating up in my air. I'm just building this because it's quick and simple, and I need a good way to get continuous experience points for enchanting stuff. Yeah. Darn it. Is there a cure for OCDism? <laughs> Is that even what you call it? OCDism? <laughs> Darn it. There we go. So did anybody else see that uh, present that uh, Etho left Good? I thought that was hilarious, especially going and watching Good's reaction to it. <laughs> oh, that was great. <laughs> see, I knew this block being there was going to come back to haunt me. Okay, making progress, not process, because that's cheese. We're making progress. All right. Um. So I think I'm just going to put a roof on this one section here, and we'll see how well this works with just one layer. I don't expect it to work too good, but, uh, Maybe it'll meet my needs for now. I can always add more onto it later. I just need to... Darn it. Funky winker beans. I just need to... Uh... I want to see how well it works.
Got to make sure it's all symmetrical too. I like a symmetrical. You know, once I built a mob grinder, and you know, normally you build a mob grinder like this, right? You start at the bottom and you work your way up. Makes perfect sense, right? Well, one day, for whatever reason, I decided that it would be better to build a mob grinder from the top down. So I went up to level 128, which was the highest at the time when I was doing this. And I built a mob grinder from top to down. And I fell and died so many times. I can't even begin to tell you how many times I died. It was at least 55. At least that many. It was a lot. Yeah. All right. Y'all let me know if it's not symmetrical, and I will tear this whole tower down, and we will start from scratch. I'll do it, too. I'm just that kind of guy. Oh, what was that? Have we already gone through a full night and day cycle? Wow, that means this episode has already been... Actually, I think we've gone through two night and day cycles. Which means we've got... 40 minutes of recording. Darn it! Death by gravity. What did I tell you people? We've got like 40 minutes of recording time. i got to speed this up. That's an episode all by itself. I was actually hoping to put out... This is 1.2 content. This weekend, which by the time you guys see this, it'll probably be one a whole nother weekend away. I'm trying to push out all my old one point. I recorded too much 1.1 stuff, and I didn't release enough footage for it. So uh, I'm trying to push all that out this weekend, so that I can be up to date and showing videos regarding the latest YouTube stuff. Or the latest Minecraft things. Uh, but I, then again, I guess it's not oh so bad because... Uh, oh, darn it. <laughs> Fate, you've conspired against me once more. <laughs> Either that or it's just me not thinking. That might be the case. But uh, really... I mean, what's seriously changed in the latest update? Let's see, we've gotten uh, iron golems. Yeah. And uh, cats, which are in the jungle biome, but I haven't found one yet. I know they can be found. I tried it on one of my other worlds to see if the jungle biomes would form. Uh, and they do. And it actually, it didn't leave a nasty chunk border on the other one, so I'm hoping it won't leave a nasty chunk border on this one. Um, we'll see how that goes. In my experience, as soon as I go and look for, as soon as I go and explore the new terrain... The first thing biome I'll come across should be a jungle biome. That's how it's always worked in the past. For whatever reason, when they add a new biome, that usually winds up being the first, uh, the first biome you come across. Now, where's my exit? Here it is. Come on, let me through. Come on. Ah! Uh, you know I can't take that sitting down. Apparently I can take it falling down, though. And I know what you're thinking. He's not stupid enough to try 
and free fall down there and catch the ladder at the last second where how he died earlier. And if you're thinking that, you're wrong. I made it. I'm alive. I believe I can. Gonna have to cut that out because somebody's gonna come. I'm playing. That's copyright infringement. What did I come down here? Oh yeah, water. Uh, I should have brought some more buckets. Bucket, 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 bucket. Uh, taking forever. Whoa! I'm not careful. I'm gonna fall off again. Yeah, this design by Etho was actually really clever. Oh, excuse me. All right, let's make an infinite water source. We'll just go like this, and we can take from there. We're going to need a one there. And there. <laughs> oh. There. Oh. We need one there. <laughs> and... Oh! Come on. There. And there. How many has that been so far? Because it takes a total of eight. <laughs> so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think that's all of them. There we go. Now I just tear up those. Huh. I think I might have done something wrong. Oh, you know what? I, I know what I've done wrong. Oh, no. That was a mistake. <sighs> I know what's wrong. There we go. I just got to do that. At each area. That ought to fix the problem. <laughs> nope. Ah! Ah! Darn it! There we go. Man, I gotta hurry. It's almost daytime again.
Oh, I left that open. Okay, this should be the last one. I don't know how I feel about the weird colored skies. I'm not sure I like that. I mean, it's weird. Okay. Yes, that fixed it. All right, let's seal this up. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Got to be careful here. Now we got to hurry because this is already a really long video. Probably going to break this up into a... I don't know. I want this to be a single episode, I think. <gasps> Oh, okay, that's cool. Cool, cool. Okay, better take that out. And, uh... This. I need to... Oh. Take that one out. If I don't hurry and get down there, things are going to start spawning... And coming out, and it's not going to be pretty. Okay. Got to hurry. Ow. Okay. So things ought to start spawning up there. And nothing is spawning up there. I didn't leave a torch up there, did I? Hmm. I'm not on peaceful, am I? No. Huh. Alright guys, well I think we'll call this the end of the episode and I gotta figure out what's going on up there. See ya. Hey guys, uh, real quick here. I just thought I would uh, show you uh, we're about to go to the nether. Woohoo! Yeah, the nether. And this is our portal. Well, not yet. We still gotta make it. So let's get busy. We're going to need one more. Ta-da! Oh, I made that wrong! <laughs> oh man, that's so terrible! That's... How did I just... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> what am I doing? Where's my diamond pick? Seriously, where is my diamond pick? Uh-oh. I lost it. Be, r Be right back.
Okay, and we're back. I found it. It was down in my mine. I was mining with it. It's actually a pretty good pick. I only spent like 15 levels on it, I think. Maybe 17. And of course, we could just take these pieces of obsidian and stick them back up there, but no, that's not the right way. The right way is to finish what we started. So now we're going to do it the right way. Here we go. Oh no, 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 oh. Oh. Yes! Yes, that's exactly what I had planned. I exactly planned for the water to flow over and out in the back of the holes and make this cool dome-shaped stuff. That's exactly how I planned it. Exactly. Ta-da! Alright, now we gotta light this thing up the right way. We're gonna need some more lava. And I need some chicken. There we go. Woo! Oh, look at your little puppy. Oh, oh, yeah. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, I remember. Huh, I already had what I needed. All right. Let's light this portal. Let's see. I think you actually... The stick one in it is the way I was seeing it done. Okay, let's... I'm doing an Indian fire dance. Come on. Light it up. You know you want to. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Light it up. Come on. Hmm. Okay, wait a second. All right, let's do it like that. All right. I have lava on several different sides of this thing. And I don't want to be standing on top of it if it does set fire. Come on. Is wood not flammable anymore? Maybe we need something more flammable. Let's try leaves. Leaves used to be extremely flammable. To my knowledge, they still are. There's my shears. Let's go get some leaves. <laughs> Don't know why I want those. Okay, pruning time. But I might as well do some useful pruning. There we go. That will be helpful later. That prevents me from wasting an axe swing on the tree. Leaves. There we go, that should be enough. There's iron down there. Alright, come on. Wait, I see fire! Yes! Burn! Burn like you've never burned before! Ah! Oh, rip! Rip off! That was a rip. Let's place one of these, see if it sets fire. Come on. Come 
Come on. What is this? A watch pot never boils? Come on. Light it up. Light it up. Come on. Yes. Burn, baby. Burn. Ah, oh, rip. Where is infinitely spreading fire when you need it? Yes. Yes. Come on. Yes. Come on. Burn into the portal. Yes. Oh, man. Come on. Light that portal. Come on. Come on. Just burn the portal. Come on. Just set fire to that portal. Come on. Come on. Come on. Light that portal. Come on. Never has there been anybody <laughs> so determined to waste resources to light a portal. Come on! <laughs> Come on, you can do it! Burn, baby! I need more leaves. Those were really burning. Come on. Yes. Burn. Come on. You can do it. Darn it. Yeah, come on. Burn around. Just burn into the portal. Why? Fate, why? Come on. Set fire to that one. Do it. Do it. Come on. That one right there. You're right next to it. Burn it. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. I know I've seen people do this before. It worked. Okay, y'all are totally going to think I cheated or something. I know y'all are, just because that lit up right as soon as I walked around the corner. That was legit. Whether or not y'all want to believe it, that was, that was perfectly legit. I don't really care. It's lit. I know, I know I did it. I don't care if y'all, I don't care if y'all don't believe me. I just don't care anymore. And if y'all are going to bug me about it, I'm going to dump this bucket of lava on this little doogie here. <sighs> All right, that's it. Bye. Yes, 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 pumpkins. I have searched everything you see here. I've been searching and searching and quit pushing me, dog. And searching and searching and searching. And I have finally found the pumpkins. These have got to be like the only pumpkins on the entire map. 
Oh, I'm so happy. So very happy. Yes, pumpkins. Pumpkin. Pumpkin, pumpkin. Yes. Oh, man, I'm so happy. Oh, man, happy, happy, happy. <laughs> Woo! We got ten. That's a nice number. But those are probably like the only pumpkins on the entire... On the entire map. That ended rather abruptly. Anyway, now that we have the pumpkins, I guess we should head back to base. But where is base? Hmm. Map says base. Oh, right. I reset my spawn point. <gasps> oh, snap. I almost did it. Let's see. You know what? I bet we find like 400 pumpkins on the way back. There's base. I see it. Home sweet home. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's so annoying. Like the la one of the last areas on the whole map and that's where I find the stupid pumpkins at. What? You guys haven't grown up yet. It's been like nine days I've been out exploring. All right. I just wanted to share that special moment with you guys. I'm so happy. So very happy. 